Good morning, students. Today we are going to start with our subject computer of class seven, chapter number six, working with web browser. You all are using the internet in your daily life, so whenever we need to search any information, we are using a some software. Okay, so that software is named as a web browser. A web browser is a software application used to access the web pages on the internet. It locate and display the web pages on the world wide web. Browsers are primarily intended to access the world wide web. They are can also be used to access the information provided by the web server in the private network or the file in the file system. Most of the browsers are graphical browsers, which means that they can display the graphics as well as text. They can even present in multimedia information, including sounds and videos. So, whenever we require to search any information, we are using these web browsers. So, we can check with the help of these web browsers uh, the information in the form of text or in the form of graphics like images, videos and sounds. The best example of video graphic is YouTube. So there are some major uh, web browser which we are using on our computer and on our mobile phones. First is Internet Explorer, Mozilla Firefox, Google Chrome, Safari and Opera. The first one is Internet Explorer. It is a web browser that was developed by the Microsoft and was first released in 1955. It is a one of the most popular and widely used web browser. It allows the user to view and access the information on the internet. And this is a logo of Internet Explorer. Next is Mozilla Firefox. The Mozilla Firefox is a popular web browser for Windows, Mac OS and Linux. It was developed by the Mozilla Foundation and was introduced in 2004. The Firefox allows the user to use in built-in tools such as Firebug. The Firefox was originally called Phoenix. Then it was given the title Firebird and the finally it become Mozilla Firefox and this is the logo for Mozilla Firefox. Next is a Google Chrome. The Google Chrome is yet another a popular web browser that was developed by the Google. It was released in December 2008. It allowed the user to quickly access the web pages and make the local desktop shortcut to open the web application in the browser. The Google Chrome is extensively used by the users due to its stability and simplicity. And all your Google information is synchronized with the help of Google Chrome. So that's why the Google which provide you all the apps of Google like Gmail, Google search, Google drive at a first point. So this is a widely used by the user who are the user of Google. Safari. Safari is a web browser developed by the Apple Inc. It was initially released on January 7, 2003. It is available for Macintosh. The window operating system iPhone, iPod, iTouch, iPad. It supports the private browsing, a mode in which the record of user web activity is automatically deleted. It offers the features like searching bookmark, saving tabs between the Macs and iOS device, and for the web content in the web arch format. But now this is not available for the Windows. Opera. The Opera is a web browser that was developed by the Opera software and was released in 1995. It comes as a default integrated web browser in the several mobile phone. It allows the users to access the information and connect with others anywhere in the world. 
so third next is we have a opera and this is a logo of opera this is also a, another type of a web browser which is used by the number of people types and browsers we are categorized these browsers in a two types first is graphical and second is text the graphical browsers such as internet explorer mozilla firefox netscape opera and google chrome can display the text images audio and video files they are available for operating systems like windows apple linux you can even download and install the graphical browsers on your computer let's see to open the text browser a text browser shows the web pages with only the text no graphics or no animation it provide the access to the web in the text mode only the gopher is a popular text browser next is search engine there are many search engines that search the information on the web based on the some specific keywords type in the search box these search engines are the software on the web that helps you to search a specific information the result that you get is a list of links that match with the keywords the search engine vary in the way they find and the list the content on the web some of the popular search engines are google yahoo reddit their url are www.google.com www.yahoo.com and www. reddit.com respectively now these days we are using the google search engine mostly to search any information on the internet so now we will do all the these things uh, practically on the one of the web browser that is google chrome next is navigate to a website in order to get the most out of the web it is important to be familiar with the various parts and the features of browser first one address bar a browser have an address bar which shows the web address of the page you are on to go through the directory to the different page you can type an address in the address bar and then press enter key for example we want to open a google web page so just type www dot google dot com for the google search engine press enter so this is a address bar and what the address of a website we type in this address bar it move to the that website links most of the time you will get a different page by clicking on a link a link can be a text or image when you click on any of the link a web page open on your screen a link may be a lead to another web page or it could be a lead to a document or video or any other type of file when you are not sure if something is a link place a mouse over it the pointer change to the hand symbol so just type some information here like computer so this is a link so the mouse pointer is changed to the hand position when we click on this link it move to a new page that is wikipedia all the information related to computer navigation button sometime after you click on a link you might want to go back to the previous page you can do thing this using the browser back button once you have pressed the back button you can press the forward button to follow the link again so this is a web page there you can scroll down to read all the information related to computer now if you wish to move back then you can use the back button now you want to get that back page again so then you can click on forward page
to move back to the previous open page. So in this way you can use forward and backward. The next button is reload page. This will refresh your web page. If the page is taking too long to load or if at a type the wrong URL, you are use the stop button or stop page from the loading. So then you can use by clicking on this button to stop the loading of that current page. Most of the browser have built in search bar for performing the web search such as so you can use the search engine or to search for some information on the search bar. So it looks like this one. So whatever the information you type in the search bar, that information is open in your web browser. Bookmark. If you have found a page and you want like to go back it later, you can add to it bookmark. The bookmark make it easier to find the page later. In the Internet Explorer, you can add the bookmark by clicking your favorite and then add to favorite. You can also click on bookmark and select the save this page option to save a web page. The other browsers are the similar but they may use the different names for bookmark. For example, uh, we have moved to a one website like uh, we are going to search for some information on internet and uh, for example Amazon. So we open this website. Now we want to visit this website again and again. Okay, so you can save this website as a bookmark. Click on these three buttons, click on bookmark and select add to bookmark. Bookmark this tab. Type the name. For example, I just want to type Amazon only. Under which folder? Bookmark. Click on done. Next time when you open a web browser, you can click on this. Click on bookmark. And here you can see all of your bookmarks. Like Amazon. The recently we have done. Next is browsing history. Uh, suppose you have visited a page few days ago but forget to bookmark it you can find the page again by using the history which is the list of a website you have usually visited so you can view the history by clicking on this button and then click on history and here you can see all of your history which you have done on your mobile phone or either on your laptop if your mobile phone and laptops are attached with each other. Tap browsing. Uh, so many browsers allow you to open a link in a new tab. The tabs are used to make more browsing more convenient. You can open many links as you want and then you can stay in a same browser window instead of filtering up your desktop taskbar with the multiple windows so by clicking on this button so you can open a new tab in the same browser rather than opening a new browser again and again on your taskbar so you can open the multiple browsers like uh, if you want to view any information on your computer like uh, this book so you can right click on and open a link in new tab so this will open this page on a new tab. Similarly, you can go for any book and open it a new tab to explore more about the content. Next is downloading files. Your browser can display many different types of document, media and the another files. 
downloading enable you to copy such files to your computer in the place where you can use it later suppose you need to modify and print the questionnaire that you can find online you can download it in your desktop and then you can open it a program like ms word or mx excel to edit it now learn how to download a file just open any picture so we are going to open a search bar just type any name like computer device so here we have a pictures you can select any picture right click on it and click on save image a dialog box will open browse to the folder where you want to save your download file and click on save button to save it so you can save uh, multiple files in your computer system there are uh, different plugins which you can install in your computer system and you can use these plugins to enable a gaming on your computer system so plugins are program that are installed in your browser to enable you to play the various types of media for example plugin includes the quick time player and the flash player so your browser may have come with the some plugin already installed once you have necessary plugin you can enable to enjoy the watching videos and playing games on your websites so for any specific file you can download the plugin and install in your computer system http of web protocol the browsers are able to display the web page by following a web protocol called hypertext hypertext transfer protocol http allow the web client and the web server to communicate with each other it define how the messages are formed and transmitted and what the action the web server and the browser should take in respond to the various commands when you enter a web address in the browser the browser actually send an http command to the web server the browser direct the server to fetch and transmit the requested web page and display the information in your browser all the web server serving websites and the web pages supports the html hypertext transfer protocols if you know the url of web page you want to open enter the url for example http www.google.com on to the web address bar the browser will read the web address and then three distinct part the first is protocol second is server name and third is file the file will be open in your computer this is the shorter way to open the web page directly okay students so in this chapter we have learned about how to use a web browser and how to locate any website or how to search any information on your computer with the help of web browser thank you have a nice day